Alright, so um, at this stage, I have continued breaking down the poses here. I'm actually working um, on twos here. And I'm using the the picker here, right? The Magnus picker. So, um, I can see, right? The um, all my keys. If I select all the controls, you can see I have my initial keys was um, from from last time, right? Was this two? Then this first breakdown I had on six and then the points, right? So what I did was break down between this and this, right, which is this, right? So that's the down pose before the up, right? So he comes down and goes up. Right? He's also looks looking across as well. Right, directing his attention before the anticipation. And then I'm breaking down between this one and the point where the foot is contacting first and the body and arm is still dragging behind. Right? So I'm not really too worried about timing as yet, but I can still play these through to see how they're working and they seem to be you know working together. Right? Nothing is feeling too off, but obviously you know still very um blocky at this stage. So at this stage, I really just want to continue breaking down, right? So I'm just going to continue um, breaking down these poses in between these breakdowns here, right? And then after that, I could adjust, adjust timing if necessary, but just keeping everything um, on twos for now and in step mode. Right, so selecting all my controls. Right, you can you can change um, your tangents to stepped. Right, just by holding on shift, dragging on your timeline with the left mouse button. And once all your keys are highlighted, right, make sure you have all your controls selected. Right click and uh, go to chant tangents and set to stepped. Right, so if ever you're seeing splining going on between here, right, you can switch it to step like that, right? I'm just working in that mode just so I just see, you know, the um the keyframes that I'm building, right? I don't wanna see what um my uh is giving me as yet. I'm trying to discipline myself and get this thing working as well as I can. Right, using um, designing my own breakdowns between the keyframes um, and then right later on I can come in and you know use the splining to my advantage right now that's I mean it's it's just one way of working you know and it's it's a solid way of working um, to get good good quality animation right but of course you know there's uh there's many ways to to do this right okay so in the next uh version right i'll show you how i continued breaking down right between these poses here um and just as a refresher right using the picker right you select any main control load any main control and then you know you should be able to get your selection here with these buttons um, one thing to keep in mind with this uh, picker that I probably didn't mention before right? you might select all controls and then decide okay I'm gonna press S to set a keyframe but look what happens it, it added an extra S here because this window here was highlighted and that's gonna throw off everything right because if it, if you add an extra s here that changes the name and then if you try to select controls now it's going to give you an error right so make sure after you select your controls you click here make sure your that is no longer highlighted click here and then 
you can set your keyframe, right? Okay, cool. Actually, one more thing I noticed when I was playing through this one is that we're not really getting much of a read on this first pose here. So, in the next video, you'll see I actually do a hold on this pose for a few frames so we can read it before we go into the transition. So, we'll see that in the next video.